anchor your life to the inspiring words that will put a rainbow in your sky. Listen to Word and Songs, a program that will introduce you to the Word of Life and beautiful music to help you experience peace and consolation. Join the Daughters of St. Paul for half an hour of Word and Songs. Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again, rejoice, the Lord is near. Peace and blessings, dear friends in Christ. We are now on the third Sunday of Advent, which is traditionally called Gaudete Sunday. Gaudete is the Latin word meaning rejoice. As we take another step closer to our Christmas celebrations, there are signs of this all around us. The shops and streets are filled with more people, and we are busier as we have more to do in our homes. But we are also asked to notice and pay attention to the Advent signs and symbols around us. The wreath in our church is getting brighter as the one pink candle on the Advent wreath is lit today, Gaudete Sunday, making it glow brighter. Perhaps there is now a crib or manger in your church, or you may even have put out a small one in your home. All these wonderful life-giving signs and symbols point and lead us to great event of Christmas. This is the real source of our happiness, joy, and celebrations. I'm Sister Lines of the Door of St. Paul, inviting you to join me for half an hour as we deepen our reflection in our Advent journey this Gaudete Sunday, here in our program, Word and Songs, nourishing your soul with the Word of God and inspiring you with music beating from the heart. Today, we are called to hear and really listen to the message from the prophet Isaiah. They are as radical and relevant now as when they were first spoken. Courage, do not be afraid. Look, your God is coming. The Lord is coming to save you. On this third Sunday of Advent, let us take these words to heart. God is coming to save us. Come, come, Emmanuel, Son of God, appear. Heaven and earth rejoice, salvation is drawing near. Salvation is drawing near. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God. Salvation is drawing near. Salvation is drawing near. Oh, come, O oh, rod of Jesse's stem. From every foe delivered. That trust your mighty power to save. Give them victory or the grave. Come, come, Emmanuel, Son of God, appear. Heaven and earth rejoice. Salvation is drawing near. Salvation is drawing near. Oh, come, desire of nations, by. the hearts of all mankind Oh, bid our sad division cease And be for us the Prince of Peace Come, come Emmanuel Son of God appear Heaven and earth Salvation is drawing near. Come, come, Emmanuel, Son of God, appear. Heaven and earth rejoice. Salvation is drawing near. Salvation. 
The common theme running through today's readings is one of joy and encouragement. The readings stress the need for patience in those awaiting the rebirth of Jesus in their hearts and lives. They give us a message of hope for people almost three millennia ago, for people at the beginning of the first millennium, and for people today. Our joy in the coming of Jesus as our Savior is marked by our lighting of our Advent Three's third candle, which is rose-colored and by the rose-colored vestment which the priest may wear at this Eucharist, because they represent a lightening of the dark violet of the rest of the penitential season of Advent. They remind us of the color of the sky at the very brink of morning, when the sun is just beginning to come up. The horizon takes on a pale rose color that gradually gets redder and brighter as the sun rises. For us faithful Christians, life is like a long sunrise, and death is the entrance into the bright, everlasting day of eternal life. This is the reason why this Sunday is also called Rose Sunday. Now is the time to wake from sleep. Salvation is close at hand. Moving from now.
Friends, let us go over briefly the message of today's readings. The prophet Isaiah in the first reading encourages the exiled Jews in Babylon to rejoice because their God is going to liberate them from slavery and lead them safely to their homeland. In the second reading, James the Apostle encourages the early Christians to rejoice and wait with patience for the imminent second coming of Jesus. Finally, in the first part of today's Gospel reading, Jesus encourages John the Baptist in prison to rejoice by casting away his wrong expectations about the Messiah and simply accepting Jesus' healing and preaching ministry as the fulfillment of the Messianic prophecy of Isaiah. In the second part of today's Gospel, Matthew presents Jesus, the true Messiah, paying the highest compliments to John the Baptist as his herald and the last of the prophets and giving special credit to the courage of John's prophetic convictions, asking his listeners to rejoice in the greatness of his herald. Ready the way of the Lord, ready the way of the Lord, a voice cries out in the You are tuned in to Word and Songs, and this is still your friend, Sister Lines of the Door of St. Paul, sharing with you insightful reflection about Gaudete Sunday. So what are life's messages we can draw from today's liturgy? First, we need to learn how to survive a faith crisis. If John the Baptist, even after having had a direct encounter with Jesus, the Messiah, had his doubts about Jesus and his teachings, we too can have our crisis of faith. On such occasions, let us remember the truth that all our Christian dogmas are based on our trusting faith in the divinity of Jesus, who taught them, and on His divine authority, which He gave to His Church to teach what He taught. Hence, it is up to us to learn our faith in death and to remove our doubts, and we can do this through the help of the Holy Spirit dwelling in us. We can establish a close relationship with God in prayer and by studying and praying on His life-giving Word. Come, Thou long-expected Jesus, born to set Thy people free. From our fears and sins release us, let us find our rest in strength and consolation hope of all the earth thou art desire of every nation joy of every longing heart 
should merit raise us to thy glorious throne. Second, we can go and tell others what we hear and see. We rejoice at the thought that Jesus is going to be reborn in our lives, deepening in us His gifts of love, mercy, forgiveness, and the spirit of humble and sacrificial service during this Christmas season. Hence, let us joyfully share God's bountiful grace, forgiveness, and mercy with others. What Jesus commanded John's disciples, He commands us as well. Go and tell others what you hear and see. This means that we have to share with others our experience of the rebirth of Jesus. Scattered and broken, bent in our way, we are your people, gathered to pray. A vineyard uprooted, narrow in sight. Come, Lord of glory, come, Lord of light. Come to us, O child of glory, be born in our hearts. Our day spring come from on high as we your people gather to praise you, unworthy to taste from your heavenly. Child 
child of glory Third, we need to open our hearts and let God transform our lives. Today's readings remind us that our lives can also be transformed if we are patient and place our trust in God. The message of Advent is that God is present among us in our everyday lives. We must prepare our hearts to recognize and welcome Him by allowing a metanoia, a change of thinking about God, ourselves, and the world to take place in us during Advent. Friends, we all know that these remaining days before Christmas can be so busy, hectic, and so full of activity. It can happen that when Christmas Day arrives, we are just so tired from all that we have done. Perhaps we could set a little time aside each day for a few minutes of prayer, stillness, and silence. Even 10 minutes would be very beneficial to our health at all levels. This might help us to slow down and remember what we're actually getting ready to celebrate. People look east, the time is near Of the crowning of the year Make your house fair as you are able Trim the hearth and set the table People look east and sing today Love the guest is on the way There you are, friends. I hope you learned something from this sharing, which will help your Advent journey become meaningful and truly a joyful time of waiting for the Lord's birth into our hearts. At this point, I'd like to acknowledge and thank the sources of my reflection from the homily of Father Anthony Cadaville for Gaudete Sunday, published in www.fathertonyhomilies.com and some thoughts from www.loyolapress.com and Brother Michael Moore, OMI. Thank you very much for the insightful reflection. Likewise, special thanks to all the artists, 
composers and producers of the songs we featured in this program. Emmanuel by Steve Anglisano, Come Lord Maranatha by Father Rick Manalo, CSP. Read It Away by Bob Hurd and Craig Kingsbury. Come Thou Long Expected Jesus, performed by Fernando Ortega. Come to Us by Greg Walton. People Look East by Marty Hagan. And A Voice Cries Out for Our Final Song by Michael Jonkas. Thank you very much. May you continue to inspire the world with your gift of music. And may your music always communicate the love of God to His people. To those of you who follow us in YouTube and Facebook, thank you for listening. Remember, Pauline's Radio PH is linking lives and healing hearts. And if you're searching for spiritual books and media materials that would help enrich your spiritual life, do visit any Pauline's Media Center nearest you or visit our website, www.store.paulines.ph. Join me now in prayer. Dear God, create in us a beautiful paradox, the joy of finding you while still pursuing you, the joy of having you yet always wanting you. Everlasting joy will crown their gladness, and joy will overtake them, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. Like your prophet Zephaniah, we rejoice in your soon coming to take our punishment and gather the exiles. We rejoice your second coming when you return for your bride to bring her home. He will appear second time not to bear sin, but to bring salvation to those who are waiting for him. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. We wait for you rejoicing. Amen. Be patient until the Lord's coming. Do not lose heart because the Lord's coming is very soon. I'm Sister Lines of the Door of St. Paul saying, Bye-bye for now. Thank you so much for keeping me company. Join me again next week for another episode of Bird and Songs. Happy Gaudete Sunday, everyone. God bless us all. Console my people, the ones dear to me. Speak to the heart of Jerusalem. The time of your mourning is ended now. The Lord of life will come. The Lord cries out in the wilderness, prepare a way for the Lord. The voice cries out in the wilderness, make straight a highway for God. Every valley is made. Like grass and its flowers The grass may wither The flower may fade But the word of the Lord is forever A voice cries out in the wilderness Prepare a way for the Lord A voice cries out in the wilderness Make straight a Just heard Word and Songs. This program was brought to you by the Daughters of St. Paul, 